MAD Magazine Leaving News and After 67, Hyphen Year Run, Really. San Francisco MAD, the long running satirical magazine that influenced everyone from Weird Al Yankovic to the writers of The Simpsons, will be leaving News and After a Sausage Kitu. Really. The illustrated humor magazine instantly recognizable by the gas smiling face of Master Alfred E. Newman will still be available in comic shops and through mail to subscribers. But after its fall issue it will just reprint previously, published material. The only new material will come in special editions at the end of the year. DC, the division of Warner Brothers that publishes the magazine, said MAD will pull on nostalgic cartoons and parodies published over the magazine's 67, Python year run. As Newman will say, what, me worry? Worry not. For MAD has more than 550 issues past full of political parodies and edgy humor to pull from. The magazine said, it felt a part as a cultural beacon for decades with its unabashed tendency to make fun of anything and push conventional boundaries. One of Matt's best known comic series, Spy vs. Spy, features two spies with beat like faces and two eyes costumes that are still regularly worn on Halloween. It even seemingly paired its fellow popular magazine Playboy, with its fold-in feature that appeared in nearly every issue. But instead, of featuring friendly class models, the fold-in printed what else? Another joke. DC will keep publishing MAD special collections and books. Illustrators and comedians, including one-time guest editor Jan Kovic, mourn the magazine's affected closure. It's pretty much the reason I turned out weird. He wrote on Twitter. Josh Weinstein, a writer and producer of The Simpsons which has referenced MAD many times thanked the magazine on Twitter for its inspiring effect on eras of comedy. There was a moment in so many of our childhoods where you were the greatest thing ever, he wrote. Comedian Harry Shearer, the voice of several characters on The Simpsons, cracked on Twitter, an American institution has closed. And who wants to live in an institution? When President Donald Trump referred to Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg as Newman, while insisting he wouldn't be fit to serve as president, the 37-year-old candidate said he had to Google the reference. I guess it's just a generational thing, Buttigieg told Politico. I didn't get the reference. Cartoonist Kevin Dorgan, who worked for MAD, wrote on Twitter that the magazine was long a source of happiness and inspiration for him. I hope we provided some smiles to some readers of the past 12 years, he wrote. The magazine changed as its circumstances did, he wrote, including when the magazine began printing advertisements in 2001 and when it moved from New York City to Burbank, California, at the end of 2017. That news was mass identity, Dorton said. MAD was long a venue for comic artists and cartoonists to grow artistically and shape national conversation. Well-known names such as Al Jaffe, Harvey Kurtzman and Morse Rucker were associated with the magazine for decades. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.